Hundreds of workers in Indiana's entertainment industry now are calling for Congress to pass the Restart Act. This pandemic certainly has hurt them financially, and the Restart Act would help them out. As our Alan Carter reports tonight, they're going red to send their message. The Paramount Theater in Anderson is back open, but they're not quite back to normal. We've had two or three events now, no problems. Everyone is really trying to make it work right. The pandemic shut them down mid-March and they stayed closed for four months. We knew that within a two to three month span, we had lost at least 70 to $80,000. That is a wallop and right now very typical for most of the entertainment industry. We were getting ready for our biggest year ever. Uh, and I think the whole industry was. And then this hit, and within a few days, uh, everything was gone. Robert Williams runs Mid-America Sound. They offer production services, and they've been hit too. But he is leading the charge in Indiana to find help for everyone. Just to bring awareness to everybody that's out of work uh, in our industry. Tuesday night, more than 40 entertainment venues across the state will turn their marquees red to raise awareness and call on action from Congress to pass relief help. This isn't about politics. This is all about letting the world know that there's 10 to 12 million people that could be potentially, or most of them are out of work now, and that the whole industry could start failing if something's not done soon. Lucas Oil, IMS, and the Lights on Monument Circle are all participating, and so is the Paramount. We're just trying to let Congress know that we need help to keep all, all these people that are touring and they're working in theaters and, and any entertainment industry uh, to keep them afloat during these rough times. And you can look for the red lights tonight between 9 p.m. and midnight. There are more than 1,500 venues across the country participating, and we have more information on Congress's proposed Restart Act at WTHR.com.